So as many of you know, I'm working with type bond glue. And in this video, they asked me to demonstrate type bond number three. And I decided to make a truss bridge. This is a project I did when I was a kid in engineering school. And it's always a fun project to learn how to engineer a truss bridge. This is one that's right down the street from my house. So I went and just took a look at it for inspiration. And then I went on to Google. The truss bridge I make is a combination of the various inspirations I found online. Tight Bond number three ultimate wood glue has superior strength and longer assembly time and you can clean it up with water. I'm using it now for this new boat build that I'm doing. Part one should be out in about a month. As you can see, I'm moving along pretty quickly and Tight Bond three has been my jam throughout the whole build. This truss bridge build was a fun one. Hopefully it'll inspire you to try something similar and make sure you use Tight Bond number three. Enjoy.
this was a fun project. The only thing that I regret is not being in a competition and being able to make one in comparison to somebody else. Say, for instance, five people, five boxes of sticks, one bottle of glue. That's what you really need. But here I put it to the test. I put about 90 pounds worth of rocks on it and compared to about three quarters of a box of sticks, half a bottle of glue, I'm able to hold up about 90 pounds worth of rocks, so it's pretty good. And like I said earlier in the video, this is a good exercise to build with a child, somebody that's interested in engineering. Get them learning early the concept of how bridges and trusses work. Oh, and did I mention that it's waterproof? It is. Thank you, Type Bond, and thank you for sticking around this long. I really appreciate it. I think I'm going to hang this on the wall now. Thank you very much.